Hello friends, this is Max Locato here. I'm so excited to be sharing this first look of the Christmas candle with new release Tuesday. Hi everybody, I'm Max Locato. I wrote this story, The Christmas Candle, and I'm so grateful that it has been made into such a charming Christmas film. Boy, what a cast. Sylvester McCoy from the new Hobbit movies and Doctor Who, Leslie Manville from Disney to Christmas Carol. Then there's Hans Matheson in Clash of the Titans, and Samantha Barks, Les Mis, James Cosmo from Braveheart, and introducing Susan Boyle, her very first movie. I was telling people, you know, Susan Boyle's in it, and they were going, oh my God. I mean, it's bizarre, it makes me laugh to think of myself in these situations of singing with Susan Boyle in a church. I never thought that would ever happen. It's a story that inspires me in that you never give up on your dreams. You never, you never stop believing in miracles. What an honor we have in this movie to highlight the Salvation Army. Ever since they began in the 1860s in England, they have been a source of hope and life for people all over the world. And to feature them in the movie and to partner with them in this movie is just an honor. Uh, they continue to be a source of hope and light for people on every part of our planet. It's this beautifully written script. It's such a wonderful Christmas story, and I'm a big fan of Christmas. There's lots of lo lovely little twists in it, in, in the story, in the telling of it. I thought it'd be lovely to be involved in a film that had this sort of flavour of it's a wonderful life. What impressed me was that it was it, it was full of hope. The story has this amazing way of showing the spirit of Christmas. You know, especially when you have kids and they open presents and it's all about the presents and everything, you kind of think, well, no, it's more than that. And we haven't had a kind of a Christmas film quite like that for a while, really. You have to go back to the 40s or the 50s. It's just a lovely story, you know, and what's nicer to have at Christmas than a lovely Christmas story? That's beautiful. <laughs> 